Those who bore the open sores of deeper wounds on their skin are cleansed. Those who lack life within their souls are raised to new life. And the poor of circumstance, regardless of standing, receive good news. They travel the highway called the Holy Way. It is a joyous journey of returning to Zion. It is a celebration of the restoration of all creation, of all beings. In our Advent journey, we are invited into the darkness to wait, to explore what darkness serves to imprison us, what inhibits the fullness of joy in believing in Jesus as the Christ. As this week has unfolded, the story of Brittany Griner has continued to unfold, offering a thread to illuminate our scripture for the modern day person. Detained and imprisoned, charged with possession of illegal substances, a prominent American athlete who dared to cross cultures and play basketball on the world stage. Arriving in Russia, to lend her skills and proficiency to one of their basketball teams, she found herself on trial, imprisoned, and a pawn in international politics. When the news broke this week that she had been exchanged for another prisoner and was on her way home, a feeling of great joy came over me and perhaps it was because of her quiet, humble demeanor exhibited during the trials. As an international sports figure, she could have easily have embraced an entitled position, becoming demanding and outspoken. Yet she struck me as contrite, a gentle giant. And the image of her on the plane after being released and headed home revealed lightness grace, and joy of one freed from captivity. So this is Gaudate Sunday, the Sunday of joy. When we light the pink candle on our Advent wreath, it is the Sunday of being caught between the powerful voices of Isaiah and John and a glorious vision of the world that is to come. Continuously reverberating through the centuries as John waits expectantly in his prison cell. Jesus asks the people, what did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What did you go out to see? Someone dressed in robes? John has a powerful presence, honed in the wilderness, a purity of relationship with God developed in the isolation and simplicity of his living. He sees with a laser-like clarity, which comes from living outside popular culture and social structures. John's life has been to call people out of their spiritual slumber, to proclaim the one who is to come, the one for whom we are to make straight the paths in our hearts. As John's disciples approach Jesus, they ask, are you the one or shall we wait for another? Jesus responds, go and tell John what you hear and see. Spread the good news of God's work in the world. The blind see, the lame walk, Lepers are cleansed, deaf hear, dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. Jesus does not say, yes, I am the one. He uses the familiar words of the prophet Isaiah to say, let this ministry speak for itself. What do you hear and see? Wherever Jesus is, love transforms people into new beings. The wilderness explodes with life. Beauty is revealed in the majesty and glory of God. 
and joy abounds. Jesus doesn't come with a vengeance or with recompense. He comes as an itinerant preacher who walks gently through the world planting seeds. Seeds of love, compassion, inclusion, and joy. In this Advent season, what are the seeds sprouting in your heart and soul? And what are the seeds you are planting in the world.